Well, hi there, everybody, and good Wednesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Of course, today is uh, March 1st, meaning that it is the first day of meteorological spring. We've certainly had a spring feel for much of the last couple of weeks outside of the snow we had late last week, and uh, you know, we're going to see more of that down the road here, although lacking in moisture, and that's going to become a bit of a problem, especially on windier days in one of those windier days will be today it's already breezy this morning now a few clouds still hanging on in northern and eastern nebraska on the back side of the system which brought a lot of severe weather off to our east yesterday those clouds will gradually clear out later on today most of us will see plenty of sunshine out there a very typical early march day temperature wise but the winds again on the strong side which again that's pretty typical in march to see a day with strong winds out there uh, heading into tonight lighter winds a few passing clouds a little chilly in the 20s for many of us and then tomorrow back into the 40s maybe a few more lower or 50s out there or maybe a few degrees warmer basically than what we have in store for today breezy again on your thursday mostly sunny skies a couple of passing clouds expected well again i mentioned the winds out there and of course with the continued dry conditions especially in southern nebraska northern kansas that fire danger will be high that'll certainly be the case later on today this afternoon a red flag warning in place for parts of southern nebraska northern kansas including furnace uh, harlan and uh, uh, franklin county in nebraska and then down into kansas at least in uh in the ksmb viewing area talking about philip smith and jewel county in kansas again that that's where the fire danger will be at its highest well how about today's temperatures out there now still a little colder in northern nebraska due to that extra snowpack uh, upper 30s are around Ainsworth and O'Neill, low to mid 40s elsewhere. Again, some early clouds, especially towards O'Neill, Albion, maybe even Central City. Those will give way to more sunshine later on. Winds will be on the strong side out of the northwest. Out west, mid 40s, plenty of sunshine. Again, also on the blustery side, making it feel colder out there. Same story in the south, mid to upper 40s, but blustery with plenty of sunshine. A few extra clouds hanging on this morning. Uh, those will clear out by later on today, looking at mid to upper 40s, even right around 50 there in Belleville, Kansas. Next seven days, tomorrow, maybe a few degrees warmer still breezy in fact it's still going to be breezy heading into the first part of the weekend but nice little uh, warm-up really begins on friday as we push those temps well above average friday and then the weekend looking fantastic temperature wise 60s and 70s now cold front comes through sometime around sunday night or monday timing still in question which will have an impact on how much cooler will be on monday and tuesday right now i'm going with lower 60s uh, but again that will be adjusted as we get a little bit closer it does look like the winds will strengthen behind that cold front and that once again means fire danger could be an issue right now not much for precipitation to talk about we're getting a little desperate for some not going to see much though i'd say if we do see anything the best chance and it's not much of a chance of sunday night and a monday with that cold front but right now not looking too promising so there you go there is your first forecast for the month of march March starting off pretty typical, but we're going to see more uh, unmarch-like conditions here down the road later on as we head towards this upcoming weekend. Of course, happy 150th birthday to the state of Nebraska. I hope you all are celebrating out there today. Until next time, I am meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Wednesday.